Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're looking at how you can keep your VR headset germ free, especially during the flu season or for example the coronavirus. Let's go! Keeping your VR headset germ-free is really important, especially during flu season or for example the coronavirus outbreak. So how do you keep it clean when you pass it from one person to another? Well, here's what you're gonna need. So first of all, you're gonna need is some hand sanitizer and antibacterial wipes. Both should contain alcohol because it's the alcohol that kills the germs. You also need some fabric spray, some disposable facial replacements, and possibly an N95 or N99 or P100 mask. You also need some disposable gloves. Cotton buds will come in handy. I'll show you a little later in the video what you can do with them. Now the difference between using the hand sanitizer and the antibacterial wipes is I would generally use a hand sanitizer to apply on someone's hand before they will actually grab the touch controllers or the remote of the VR headset. But the antibacterial wipes are really useful because I can then wipe the facial replacement area, especially if you have a leathery type or a silicon type of VR facial replacement, and then also wipe the top part of the VR headset itself and underneath where the buttons are for the volume and also the on and off switch. A disposable facial replacement is very useful for two main reasons. The first one is to keep germs at bay. Then having the disposable facial replacement will add that extra layer of protection. The second reason is for people who are wearing makeup because the disposable facial replacement will keep the makeup in there, especially if, you know, passing to other people, the VR headset, there might be some skin irritations or allergies and also makeup may fall in other people's eyes, causing some eye injuries. So a disposable facial replacement can really help prevent against these kind of things. If you're going to use your VR headset outdoors, especially if you're doing events, you might want your staff to wear some disposable gloves just to help against potential spread of germs. Having some cotton buds will also be useful as you can clean the tips of the earbuds with these, especially if you don't have any water or soap around, where you can take off the tip of the earbud and wash it in the sink with water and soap. Now, depending on the outbreak, of course, in your area and what kind of mask you would have to wear, just wearing an N95 or N99 mask should be okay. It should leave enough room for the nose to breathe and also put your headset on your face. Now, if you need to wear a mask, I wouldn't suggest passing your VR headset to someone else. Now, if you have a VR headset which has fabric on it, for example, the Oculus Quest, then I definitely recommend you get some antibacterial fabric spray. They have two main purposes. The first purpose, of course, is to kill those germs and keep them at bay. But then the other is also to give it a really nice smell. So if, you know, for example, someone used your headset in a smoking environment or cooking environment, or maybe they put their hand somewhere and then they grab your VR headset and it left a really bad smell, then don't worry, just spray the headset on the fabric parts and it will give it that really nice ocean beach breeze smell. I'd like to give a quick shout out to those who responded in one of the previous videos, which was all about the Oculus Quest magnetic charging station by AMVR. Now, if there's any other way that you have to suggest in order to keep germs at bay using VR headsets, then please comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts and suggestions on this subject. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. Remember to like and subscribe so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.